Let's go to our friend. Oh, it's Tamisha from New York City. Tamisha, how's your son? Tamisha. Oh, I'm not even in the waiting lobby. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. That was my fault. Hey, Tamisha, how are you? I'm sorry. That was my fault. Hi. How are you? I didn't even hear you call my name. <laughs> I know that was that was my fault. That was my fault. Your son's doing well. Yes, I have two sons, but yes. Oh, OK. Well, they're both doing well. <laughs> What's going but, um, on? What was I going to say? Um, I've been having withdrawal from not being able to speak to you. work. Scheduling is prob problematic. But um, well, I'm glad you're here. Oh, I, it sounds like there's some commotion in the background there. Yeah, my son. <laughs> Ryan, be quiet. <laughs> OK, so what? how are things in New York? I hear things are kind of getting back to normal to some degree. Yes, things are back to normal, which I, I, I agree was time. Mm -hmm. I think like the numbers are significantly low enough to, to feel ready for everything to go back to normal. Fair. I feel comfortable. Normal. Good. Good. What's on your mind today? Um, I just had a quick story from um, an experience I had, like, I think it was last week at the barbershop with my son. Okay. Um, so I walk into the barbershop and there's three men waiting to get haircuts. And one, I'm figuring out while they're talking, they're talking about Ukraine and Russia, of course, but they start talking about other things. And the one guy sitting next to me, he says, I'm Jewish. And I don't remember what he said, but he said, he, as a Jewish person, this, that, and the other. And the guy next to him goes, I don't understand why Jewish people don't vote for, don't like Trump. Because mm -hmm. they're Democrat. They're, I mean, the, what of what the Democrats have done to the Jewish people. And I'm sitting here trying to bite my lip not to say anything. Right. But I, I said I did eventually say something. I was like, well, um, I know I, from what I know, Jewish people tend to be left leaning. And then they were talking about um, Jewish people being secular. And it went into it went into all kinds of things. Yeah. I mean, and, there's a lot of meaty stuff in there. You're, you're basically right. I mean, well, a recent poll of American Jews found that I think it's only like 22 percent or 26 percent believe in God. So that's a pretty that is a pretty secular group. Um, and also it's one of the most liberal voting blocks. I think it's close to 80 percent of Jews tend to vote for Democrats. So both both of those things are true. Oh, that's even interesting. I didn't know the specific stats, but I guess I was right that yeah. they, that Jewish people tend to be left leaning. Oh, yeah. And he also said something about the anti-Semitism on the left, I guess. And I, mm -hmm. and I went on to say, well, there's anti-Semitism coming from both sides at yes. times. You were right. You're absolutely right. And then the, um, the, the third guy was very he seemed very religious and he was talking about religion and stuff and said, talking. Then he started talking about Islam and he was saying, oh, Islam, Islamic people are um, they're very violent. And I had to chime in and say, well, no, that's the extremists. I was like, Ryan, I was like, that's the extremist. That's not everybody. Yeah, that's very violent. So you can't say that that all Islamic people or pe Muslim people are violent. Of course, it and sounds like you handled it quite well. I have to say I was trying the last thing the um, they're all talking and I'm like, well, I'm a teacher. So the guy, uh, not, the guy who said the thing about Trump, I don't know why people don't like Trump. He goes. Teachers are sheep. And I was like, well, I take offense to that because I'm a teacher and I don't <laughs> find myself being a sheep. Right. And he's like, well, not all teachers, but a lot of them. And you probably are, too, he says to me. And I'm like, OK. Wow. So then I, I you know, I had to chime in and say, well, guess what? I, don't, I think Trump was horrible and I don't, I don't like him at all. <laughs> so the guy's like, so then the, the things go left. And he's like, what? Are you crazy? You don't like Trump of the, what everything he's done? Um, he, and everything he's done for your people. And I'm like, what's your who's your people? I don't, I don't know what he meant by that. I guess he meant because I'm um, not white. I don't know right. what he meant. But I think that's exactly yeah. what he meant. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. But I really didn't address that part because I didn't want to go into the weeds with that. Yeah. So well, I, but, you know, one thing that's useful to say in those cases is to say, what exactly did he do and see if, if they can even name anything? Well, he did say he brought back so many jobs to America. From and where? I, I was like, well, he did outsource a lot of jobs too. Yeah. And that was the, and then he went on to say that I'm brainwashed, and I was like, okay, I'm brainwashed. <laughs> but meanwhile, prior to that, he had mentioned I don't really follow politics, and I was like, well, I do follow <laughs> politics, and you said you don't follow politics, so I don't know who would be the one who's more brainwashed. Yeah, this is like that UFC dude we covered who gave a press conference on Saturday, and he was like, listen. I don't know what's going on in Ukraine and Russia. I just don't know. I just know I'm not going over there. 
But Biden and his son have made all sorts of money. You know, it's like I thought, I thought you just said you didn't know anything about it. But people who don't know anything still have many opinions, I guess, is what we're learning. Exactly. It was basically the same kind of scenario. Because I remember you talking about that. What that uh, very- what neighborhood was this in? I live in um, Throgs Neck in the Bronx. This is like Thro- Throgs Neck, Pelham Bay area. I live okay. in AOC's district, actually. Gotcha. She's gotcha, my gotcha. person, which is weird. I don't know how she makes it into Congress. With all- and it's very Trumpy over here mm. where I live. It's very well, hard to. It sounds uh, wild. Was the haircut at least okay? Yes, he looked handsome. He That's looked good. very cute. That's good. It wasn't the barbers. It was the customers. So. Right. No, I understand. I understand. But I just wanted to share that crazy story. What what's your tipping policy on haircuts these days? Um, actually, my son, over, um, I don't know. I, I really honestly don't know. I think they overcharged me for the haircut, which I didn't I didn't realize because I was too busy talking. So yeah. I didn't, and I was giving my son the money, so I wasn't paying attention. But I, I try to tip um, five to ten dollars. Yeah. That's just fair. a blink. And I have to tip for two because I have two kids. So I have to tip for each person. Each That'll kid. add up. That'll add up quick. Yes. Well, Tamisha, you've really said it all. I appreciate your call. Thanks for taking my call. Have a good one. All right. There we go. Tamisha from the Bronx. Always great to hear from her. Always, always great to hear from her.